we can use a number of methods to measure the volume of air or another gas as the temperature of the gas changes. When we investigate how the volume of a gas changes with changing temperature, we have to keep all other variables constant. So, we make sure no air leaks in or out, and you keep the pressure from changing by carefully monitoring it with a sensor, varying the volume so it stays constant. One group of students measured gas volume as a function of temperature and got this data. Their initial graph looked like this. And, of course, as the temperature increased, the volume of the gas increased. They reasoned that temperature measures kinetic energy, energy of motion. So, at higher temperatures, the air molecules move faster, and they strike the pressure gauge more often and with more force, making it necessary to respond by increasing the volume. It made sense to them that volume went up as the air temperature went up. Then they asked, what would happen if we chilled the gas even more with much lower temperatures? So they extrapolated the graph back all the way to the temperature that would cause the volume to drop to zero. They knew the gas would turn into a liquid long before that zero point, but they looked for the temperature that theoretically would cause a zero volume. In this case, that temperature is minus 275 degrees Celsius. But further experiments with more sensitive instruments average to minus 273 degrees Celsius. This temperature, where all molecular motion seems to stop, is called absolute zero. It is 273 degrees below the freezing point of water. Absolute zero is the zero point of the absolute scale. The scale is named after Lord Kelvin, a great Scottish physicist of the early 20th century who suggested its existence first. Now let's look for a moment at something we can do with the absolute temperature scale. As you see, if we measure from absolute zero to two temperatures and volumes, we can draw two triangles. The triangles are right triangles with the base equal to the temperatures and the height equal to the volumes. And since they have a common angle at zero Kelvin, they are similar triangles. Therefore, the two lines called hypotenuses have exactly the same slope. The slope of these two lines, m, is equal to the volume divided by the absolute temperature. This is the expression of Charles' law after the great chemist of France, Jacques Charles. Volume divided by absolute temperature of a gas is a constant. And for any two points on this line, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. This is true for any sealed gas at constant pressure. The ratio of volume to absolute temperature is always constant.